Ian Dior has been working on his second album, his sophomore release, for quite a while now. It's honestly been almost two years since we've had an official album release from Ian, considering his only official album released at the moment is Industry Plant. In this video, I'm going to be going over the whole history of this upcoming album we're going to get and kind of just talk about where it started, where it's currently sitting at, and when we might get it. I have tons of videos covering news about this album and a lot of the updates we got throughout it on my main channel, Complex Productions. If you guys want to check that out, a link to that channel will be in the description down below. But with all this being said, we're just going to dive on into this album and basically everything surrounding it. So from what I can find, one of the very first things Ian tweeted about this album was back in July of 2020. He tweeted out, do you guys want more rock music? This was right after the release of his second EP, I'm Gone, and this is when Ian started to really experiment with the sound and start releasing punk rock and just other types of songs. Ian also tweeted out the same day that there will be sad boy hours on the album, which basically confirmed to us that there was going to be some form of nothing's ever good enough type Ian on this album. And then lastly, Ian tweeted out that he wasn't ghosting us and that the album is 60% finished. Now this is quite strange considering this was back in like July of 2020 and we still have no album in July of 2021, but we're going to get into that. A few months after Ian tweeted that stuff out, he kind of went silent on the album and we didn't really know what was going on. It seemed like he was going to release the album at the end of 2020, and if you ask me, that was the original plan because that's what he did in 2019. He released Nothing's Ever Good Enough at the beginning of summer, and then he finished the year out with Industry Plant. Well, in October of 2020, Ian tweeted out, nothing's ever good enough. This kind of just went with that one tweet where he said that there was going to be sad boy hours on the album. This basically just confirmed that we were going to get some kind of older sound or vibe from Ian. Everything started looking better for this album because near the end of October, about a couple weeks later, he tweeted at Taz and at Nick, let's finish my album. This let us know that Ian and Airnet Money had officially squashed their beef that they had throughout 2020 and that they were getting back in the studio together and starting to make tracks again. For the for like the past year, I had people talking to my ear, telling me who to be, how to act, you know, so-and-so, so whatever, whatever. Um, this project is the complete opposite of that. That's why I'm calling it I'm Gone. It's a kid that didn't like where he was living, didn't like the way he was treated on this world that we live in. You know what I mean? This beautiful world. So he left. He left to a planet that he created with his mind. And whenever he gets there, it's already populated. So there's a bunch of people on that world that are just like, what the fuck, who are you? And it goes from there. So yeah, I'm gone. June 5th, Monster Energy just dropped the live. I want you guys to go check it out. Let me know what you think. And I love you guys. I feel like I'm you know, it's crazy. It's super crazy. Niggas was talking shit. Niggas was saying that, that my production was ass. Telling me that I wasn't gonna do shit. Telling my boy Moose that, that he wasn't gonna be able to do shit. Yeah. But now niggas is calling up. Talking about I'm sorry. Talking about I was wrong. Talking about come to my team. Come to my team, come work for my artist. Bro, shut the fuck up, bro. You a snake, you a slime ball, first of all. Suck my fucking dick, I don't fuck with you. Let's put that out there. And to all my fans, I love you guys. You guys are making this shit real. There's a lot of fake energy out there right now. And it's all good. It's all good. Cause you know what I mean? I got the type of shit that make a hater say sorry. You feel me? You're a realist. You feel me? I don't ever have to tell the truth. I'll, if you never tell a lot. After like another month of Ian being pretty silent about the album, he released his next single, which was supposed to be the lead single to the album, Holding On. And then just a week after Holding On released, Ian went live on Insta and played a snippet to a song titled I Might. At this point, Ian was pretty active in the community and he was really starting to hype up the album. He even tweeted at Nick and Taz again saying might have to drop my next single. At this point, we knew that we were officially in the album rollout considering we had the main single. Ian went live and played a snippet again. And we knew the Airnet Money songs were going to be on this album because Ian and Taz had both been tweeting at each other. And Taz actually ended the month of December out by tweeting at Ian saying, let's make Nothing's Ever Good Enough 2. Now, in one of the older videos on my main channel, Taz actually did tweet out to Ian telling him that they should make Nothing's Ever Good Enough ever. And in my opinion, this was the name for the album we were supposed to be getting. Basically, where we're sitting right now in the timeline of this album 
in my opinion, the original album name was going to be Still Here. The 2020 album we were going to get, I think, was going to be titled Still Here, like the EP that Ian released at the beginning of 2021. And I have a reason why I think this. There's an interview where Ian goes over I'm Gone, saying that it's supposed to correlate with his upcoming album name. And, I mean, just looking at these two names, I'm Gone, Still Here, they definitely correlate together. And it seems like, in my opinion, that this was going to be the original album we were going to get. Um, I'm right now I'm working on two albums. There's gonna be a lot of new music coming out very soon. Hang on, why are you working on two? Isn't one enough? <laughs> one wasn't enough, you know? I, I thought about it and then probably like two, three weeks ago I started on the second one while I was finishing the first one. So um the second one is all pretty much all gonna be with Nick and Taz. And the first one is more like me showing off what I could do, you know. There's different genres. There's there's funk rap, there's pop. There's rock, there's hip hop, you know. I'm, I'm just trying to venture out into new genres and see what I could do and, and see um, if my fans love it or not. And that would explain why Nick produced Don't Wanna Believe and why Shots in the Dark featuring Shippy did release because we knew that there was going to be some internet money in Ian songs on the album as well. Moving into January of 2021, we've still had no album, no second single officially released for the album. All Ian had tweeted out was, it's almost ready. So we knew that the album was being worked on, that it was almost done, even though back in summer of 2020, Ian told us that the album was 60% ready. At this point, I kind of just thought that the album was literally just about done. Also, I want to add this in here. If you guys don't know, one of the original Ian Grails or snippets that he played right when Industry Plant had released, it was titled It's True, and Taz actually said that they were already working on the next album when they played this song originally. Well, Ian actually played this song again, a different version of it, in December of 2020, and Taz went on Instagram Live and kind of explained the whole situation going on with this song, It's True. All right, yeah, October 2019 in New York. It was on like October 30th, I think. We had our falling out. We did that shit, whatever. The song sat in the notes app. It's not done. There's a couple different versions. We have a version with a Nick beat. We have a version with just a guitar in Ian and all that shit. Ian called me last week. He's like, yo, let's, let's put that song out. Let's do it. I'm like, cool, let's do it. I don't know what version we're using. And what version he put on the story, I don't know which version that is or if he's using that. But... I know that I told him I'm going to work on some more versions. <laughs> so that's where we're at right now with that song. To make things even better, Ian even tweeted out, I got no love in my veins, it's cold, which is a part from this song, It's True. And this is a song that everyone in the community wanted. It was an Ian and Internet Money song. So we just kind of thought that this was about to be the next single for the album. A couple more days went by and then Ian actually went on Instagram and posted another snippet to a song that the snippet name was up and down but we officially know that the name of this song now is Better With You. Ian went live and played this and it's actually produced by Mike Dean who's a pretty big producer in the game and we knew that this album wasn't going to be just internet money and Ian it was going to have other producers on it, other styles on it because this is more of a funk or jazz type song. Only a few days later, Ian even tweeted out some Gone Girl lyrics saying, I fell in love same time you were falling apart. This just kept reminding us that Ian was going to be doing something with internet money and that we were going to get some type of sad Ian back on the album. Keep in mind that at this point, we still thought that the album was going to be this 2020 album with different mixes and different styles of Ian music on it. The next day, on January 26th, Ian did an interview with XXL where he talked about how he wants to completely dominate every genre after topping the charts with his single with Golden Mood. The article goes on to say that now that his focus is on his sophomore album, it's going to be released in 2021 and it recently featured his single Holding On. Ian is bringing back the hip-hop vibes of Nothing's Ever Good Enough while adding amazing rock tracks with Travis Barker and pop songs that he refers to as his cup of tea quoting, I want to be the first artist to completely dominate every genre. So at this point, we knew that the album was going to have some sad stuff on it, some nothing's ever good enough, original rap type Ian. We knew that there was going to be some punk rock or just rock songs on the album with Travis Barker. And we were going to be getting some pop songs, kind of like What Is Real, just a big mix of Ian music on this next album. After that, in February, Ian actually posted another snippet to a song titled Complicate It, which is produced by Halftime, and we just got a really short snippet of this song, but then a couple days later, Ian actually posted a full, longer version of the song that had been mixed, and he titled it Album Snippets. 
After this, Halftime had retweeted it and said Nothing's Ever Good Enough 2. This wasn't the first time we'd seen Nothing's Ever Good Enough 2 be mentioned, but it was quite interesting seeing that they kept referencing Nothing's Ever Good Enough and titling this Nothing's Ever Good Enough 2. After Ian posted this snippet, it sounded like an old Ian song that everyone wanted, and it seemed like this was going to be the next single for the album considering it had been almost a month since Ian had said a word about It's True. It seemed like he'd kind of moved on and that this was going to be the next single for the album and Ian actually said who do you want on it so we knew that there was going to be a feature on Complicated. Only a few days after this, Ian tweeted at Nick Mira that he's locked in for the week, so it just really seemed like they were trying to finish up this album as quickly as possible and get it released. Keep in mind that we're sitting at over a year at this point without an Ian album, and we're getting close to a year with no Ian project released because I'm Gone released in June of 2020. About a week later, Ian tweeted out, now I'm taking shots in the dark. At the time, this didn't really seem like anything because we didn't know anything about the song Shots in the Dark, and Ian basically went quiet for like another two weeks until he went live on Instagram and played two new snippets of songs called Never Matter and then Shots in the Dark. At this point, Ian was hyping up that Shots in the Dark was going to be featuring Trippy. He played a short verse of it and even went live and told Trippy that he needs him on Gone Girl Part 2. So that's what everyone was actually calling this song at the time. Originally, we thought that Gone Girl Part 2 was going to be complicated. But once we heard Trippy on Shots in the Dark, we knew that this was going to be it. And it seemed like the name was going to be called Gone Girl Part 2. Yeah, Trippy, what we doing? I need you on my next single, Gone Girl Part 2, baby. Let's do it. A week after the Shots in the Dark snippet went up, Ian tweeted out, Don't worry, I'm dropping soon. We're shooting the video when I get back to LA. Can't wait to show you guys what I've been up to. So keep in mind that we are sitting through halfway through March, no new Ian album, and no single release since Holding On had been released back in November of 2020. We didn't really know what was going on with this album until in April, Ian finally released Shots in the Dark and Don't Want to Believe on the EP Still Here. At this point, Ian had done an interview where he said the next album was going to be Nothing's Ever Good Enough 2 because he knew that's what his fans wanted and that he'd been working with Aaron at Money again. And then for my fans, you know, I, I blogged back in with Aaron at Money and we're, we're making Nothing's Ever Good Enough 2, which is what they've been waiting for. Wow. So, yeah, they could be really excited for that. You guys are the first to hear it. So at this point, we have a two-song EP out titled Still Here that was the newest release that Ian had dropped since, since November of 2020. Now, this is where I got my theory that Still Here was going to be the original album that Ian dropped, but he still wanted to drop something from the album, maybe songs that he just really liked from it, or just something that would at least make sense with the I'm Gone EP so he could kind of correlate it with Still Here and then move on to the next chapter of his music. At this point, we literally went months with no Ian news until June of 2021, Ian tweeted out that Nothing's Ever Good Enough 2 is 70% finished. Ian also tweeted out, kind of letting us know what was going on with the album and probably why it was taking so long. He said that I scrapped the album I was working on for Nothing's Ever Good Enough 2, we're back. Now, I have a personal theory. This might be completely false, but what I believe is that Possibly Taz Taylor might have been trying to get Ian to do something like Nothing's Ever Good Enough 2. That's why back in December of 2020, they were going back and forth by saying Nothing's Ever Good Enough Ever, Nothing's Ever Good Enough 2. And then it seems like maybe Ian finally decided that Nothing's Ever Good Enough 2 would be the right choice and that that's what he was going to work on. So that's why he scrapped his album. In my opinion, he should have sort of dropped the 2020 album that was already finished or almost finished because we knew it was 60% finished in summer of 2020 we should have got that released either at the end of 2020 or in the beginning of 2020 and then ian could have started working on nothing's ever gonna have two because we would have had an album to listen to to hold us over until the next project at this point we're sitting at a year with no ian project being out industry plant released at the end of 2019 i'm gone released in june of 2020 we're currently in june of 2021 and we don't even have the next single for what is going to be Nothing's Ever Good Enough 2 because we don't even know what Holding On is for at this point. We still don't know what Holding On's for. Was this supposed to be a Still Here single? In my opinion, it was, but is it still going to make it onto the next album? We literally have no idea. No one's mentioned it, and no one's really given us any real info on this album. Ian went live talking to some fans and answering questions, and he said how he wanted to get Uzi on to a song for Nothing's Ever Good Enough 2, and he later played a snippet of it that was a song that was originally titled pot of gold but we know the official name now is v12 i got a song for uzi i definitely got a song for uzi i need you guys to go spam his shit right now 
Well, on June 13th of 2021, Ian tweeted out Moonlight with a dress all white. We now know that this is a lyric from his song Heartbreaker, which was going to be one of the lead singles to Nothing's Ever Good Enough 2, but Ian's actually changed his mind with this a lot. The lead singles for Nothing's Ever Good Enough 2, I will go over this a little bit later, but we originally were going to have I Might is one of the singles. It's almost trying to keep my focus. I can't give you all of it. That's the next single, though. And then we were going to have Moonlight, and then there was a time where we were going to have Complicated, and I'll kind of come back to this near the end of the video, but moving on, Halftime actually confirmed in the Ian Dior Discord. Halftime is one of Ian's producers and one of his best friends from when he was younger. He put in the Discord that Ian's album was 10 out of 16 songs finished. He also said that Ian was going to make a thread of snippets soon, and he was going to be turning in his album at the end of June, and it would be dropping at the end of July. Well, at this point, Ian had went live a few times and played different snippets. He had played V12, he had played Moonlight, I Might, Complicated, Options, and then this one untitled snippet. It's so short that there's really not an official fan name. But all these snippets had had something to do with Nothing's Ever Gonna Have 2, and Ian had played these and been in the studio while he played them. The reason we know I Might was going to be the, one of the singles for Nothing's Ever Gonna Have 2 is because Ian actually posted a screenshot of this song on his story by saying that it was next up. At the end of June, Ian actually made a new Instagram post where he put a CDQ of Complicated and V12, and he said, which one do you guys want, one or two? He can't decide. Only a couple days after this, Leroy actually tweeted out, I said I won't, but I'm lit and I might. And then Ian retweeted the same tweet and said that he was just waiting for Leroy's verse. So at this point, we knew that Leroy was going to be hopping on I might. He was originally going to be getting on Complicated, at least that's what it seemed like. But a lot of people were telling Ian that he should just keep that song solo, and and he ended up deciding to do that, but put Leroy on I Might, and he even changed the verse to I Might from the leaked version, so it has an unheard verse on it now. So at this point, we are sitting with still no Ian single for Nothing's Ever Good Enough 2, but the album was still considered Nothing's Ever Good Enough 2. That was the official name, and we knew features that were going to be on it. We Basically, everything I just covered was what we knew was going to be Nothing's Ever Good Enough 2. But then, out of nowhere, Ian goes into the Discord and says that we're going to be getting the same album, but it's going to have a different name. It's not Nothing's Ever Good Enough because he's past that. And then Ian goes on to say that Moonlight is on the album, that they're shooting the video in two weeks, and then he says OTBT. At the time, we did not know what this means, and we still don't actually know what this means. Ian ended up posting at the beginning of July a new Instagram post saying life is better now, it was nothing's ever good enough, but now it's OTBT, complicated next. So currently where we're sitting, Complicated is supposed to be the next single releasing for this new album that is, the abbreviation for is OTBT, and people have kind of theorized that the name for this is either going to be On to Better Things or Only the Best Times, and it seems like that this is going to correlate with Nothing's Ever Good Enough, but it's not going to be Nothing's Ever Good Enough 2. Since then, Ian's went on Instagram and posted different things about OTBT. He hasn't officially confirmed what it stands for, but I'm sure one of the fan theories for what it stands for is what it actually is, and we'll find out the name of the album soon, probably around the time that we get Complicated officially released. Also, since I've been working on this video, Ian has posted that he did get Uzi to hop on V12, and they've been filming the music video for it, so honestly, Complicated might not be the next single, it might be V12 featuring Uzi, but regardless, we know that Leroy and Uzi are most likely going to be on this new album, OTBT. So where we're sitting at now, at the end of July, we still have no confirmed songs released that are going to be on Nothing's Ever Good Enough 2 or OTBT, because I'm assuming still here was just old scrap songs from the album we were going to get, along with Holding On, so the only way any of those would make it on the album, in my opinion, is just to help with first week's sales, but if any three of those songs are going to go on the album, I think it's going to be Holding On, since that's not a part of a project. But regardless, this is where we're sitting. We don't even know the official name to this album. We don't have an official single out for it. And we're almost sitting at two years with no new Ian album. And we're sitting over a year with no Ian project. 